So before starting our hands-on session, we are going to use uh, cloud lab machine for hands-on session. So if you don't have this node information, raise your hand, then I will give you node information. Okay, this session is a um, hands-on session. Uh, you are actually building a COMAC in a server. So we gave you uh, one server to each. Okay. Um, COMAC in a box, what is it? It is a functional COMAC pod capable of end-to-end -end test. And we made it for helping developers and users who want to work with or try a comment without requiring any special hardware, including Inode B and UEs. And I thought it would be great if, could, if we could provide other methods of helping people to understand comment besides just reading the materials. Um, so for um, comment in a box can be deployed on a physical server or VM. So far, we've been tested um, AWS EC2, Google Cloud, and DigitalOcean VMs, and, and it worked well. So um, there's, a little, uh, there's some requirements, though. Um, you need at least four cores and eight gig RAM or higher is recommended. And Intel Hotswell CPUs or newer is required, and also kernel version is for for the 15 or later, it's um, we use um, open air interface for our Inode B and UE emulator, and to run that emulator, we need um, this version, this uh, this kernel version, and it's only tested on Ubuntu 16.4 and 18.4, but it's uh, basically uh, run on Kubernetes, so I believe that it will work on other distributions as well. How to install? Just um, git clone automation tools and cd automate comic in a box and make. It's easy. And it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to finish. Uh, this is uh, overall installation procedure. Comic in a box is implemented with a make file that includes several make targets and finally building comic. These are actually the important make targets, like um, install Kubernetes, and then install Comac, and Comac, Comac platform, and Comac profile, and set up fabric, emulated fabric, and install OMAC, and install Open Air Interface Emulator. Uh, then let's start. Um, everybody um, log into SSH into the servers we gave you. And if you have any problems, just raise your hand. <laughs> if you are successfully logged into the server, you just type um, this comment. Yes. Basically, we download a comic in a box script from the GitHub, and uh, the third line that ex export um, locally is that sometimes Python packages, when we install Python packages, it complains about the locale, so we just do that for sure. And um, last last comment, I will explain when you down finish download the comic in a box script. Oh, we use L2, L2 simulators, so no L1 emulating.
so all if you um, if you download it uh, the the automation tools you just go to the automation tools coming in a box and will open make box with uh, like a bi and you'll see there's a there's a multiple several a number of actually uh, make targets and we will go we will run that multiple that targets one by one because just typing make it make is not fun at all so <laughs> So let's install Kubernetes first. Uh, you just need to run make and target name. And it'll take about 10 minutes. You will have to see um, ansible logs are logs are displayed when you type um, this command. If anyone hasn't don't see the log, just raise your hand. And while we are waiting, um, I will explain how Comac in a box works. Uh, this is the Comac architecture I showed before. Um, hope you remember everything. Um, oh. Okay. Um, there's um, EPC component, HSS, MME, and SDKTC, and U, and they there's a control plane networks and data plane networks. And when it is deployed on Kubernetes, it just looks like this. The, uh, the box in the nodes are the pod, and they are all connected to Calico main pod network. And SBATU pod has um, two additional data plane networks. Yes. Yeah, I was going to explain that. <laughs> yes, um, this is Comac in a box architecture. That um, here uh, we pre in the previous uh, installation we didn't um, install this um, RAM part. We just installed um, HSS MME and EPC part and then Fabric and Core platform, Comac platform, and there was. Um, hardware that um, UEs and inodebase was a hardware but um, the Comagin, the purpose of, of Comag in a box is to test and develop Comag without requiring any special hardware and it can it has to be run on even in VM so we emulated everything so um, this is a Comag in a box architecture everything here is just one single server and the high, highlighted part is the changes I made for everything work um, in the one one single box. So for um, this red side, we used uh, uh, for uh, to, to emulate Inode via UE, I picked OpenAir interface L2 simulator and containerized and also write a ham chart to deploy it on Kubernetes and integrate it, it to OMEC. So these UEN, you know, uh, uh, yeah, so these are all emulated. And the other emulated part on the bottom here, there was actually a, a data plane switch here, and it is connected to the data plane interfaces. To emulate this, we created two um, op uh, open open op yeah, OVS bridges for each network, and to uh, to connect uh, SP Gateway U and this OVS bridges, we created a very simple CNI. We developed a very simple CNI that called Simple OVS. It is included in the uh, Comag in a Box script as well. Uh, basically, the it was a v, uh, 
I hope you remember that there, there was a CNI called VETH VFIOBE to connect SRIB interfaces to the data plane. But we, we don't think, um, we don't think it's, it's uh, pretty capable for uh, our Comeg in a box, Comeg in a box setup. So um, we just use corner interfaces and connect that interface to um, bridges. We are, uh, with the simple OBS plugin that we developed. And yes. Yeah, they are OMEC. And as we use uh, OBS for our data plane emulator, uh, we can control it with ONOS later. That is our plan. Uh, it's, it's just for emulating of upstream router. So, um, Next slide shows uh, the control plane flow and data plane flow that we are going to test with Comeg in the box. Uh, when UE is up, uh, there, is, there, there will be an um, interfaces called, uh, named with OIP. Um, this is actually represent our UE. And there will be another container, two containers, UE and Part the UE and E node B, and UE, uh, UE interacts between the UE uh, OIP interface and UE containers, and it uh, it interfacing to uh, traffic between two. And E node when UE is up, uh, it directly tries to attach to the network, and um, with this control control plane uh, flow, it um, we test our test request and it MME authenticates and assigns an IP address to the UE. You will see UE has UE gets an IP address when it is successfully attached to the network. Uh, after uh, after UE is attached, we are going to test the data plane. Uh, so with UE interface, we are going to ping to um, this. SG, um, SGI network gateway IP address, which is set on the Quagga, Quagga, inter, Quagga, Quagga interface. So your cube spray is done or still still going? Okay, let me check. The progress is um, very slower than I expect. Um, uh, if you have any questions, yeah, we can answer <laughs> during uh, while we are waiting. Left hand side. Uh, uh, you mean the, this yeah, yeah, yeah. emulated part? Right. And with we, we are equipment, we are you know, mm -hmm. B and we are UE. Right, right. Oh yeah, that is we are you are typically doing. Right, but in, not in, not when you're playing with the Comac in the box architecture, right? But uh, is there a variant of Comac in half a box? <laughs> uh, <laughs> where you have the right hand side uh -huh. stuff all packaged up and easy uh -huh. to build while peeling off the left hand side where you can actually connect a radio. I think, uh, yeah, I think I can explain your question. Um, for the, like, uh, with the standard uh, the command report, it including several devices. You still can squeeze it into one server. It's uh, like in your box, take all the fabric, everything. And, uh, it's hard to build though. This one is easy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we actually have a plan to write an Ansible playbook for easily deploying 
deploying this in a vertical mode because the make file is not good for this PM for deploying of tools and it's hard to apply it to a vertical mode. So we are planning to um, develop an Ansible playbook. I hope that it will yeah. Yeah, make your life easy. <laughs> We integrated the, uh, the open air interface, the run side. The main reason is because in the 4G, the, uh, for developing the 3GPP, the call is the only big players. They, like, uh, the Ericsson, like Huawei, they can purchase the, like, their, themselves, or they can purchase the very expensive, the testers, the run testers. They normally need uh, several tens of thousands of dollars for buying the run testing tools there. If, like, we are for open source, uh, inside ONF for testing the OMEC, we also use uh, Sparent, uh, Polaris, and G40, several commercial softwares for testing. But for the normal um, individual users, if they want to contribute, it's hard to get a tester to, if they write a function inside the um, core network, it's hard to test it. So for this purpose, we integrated the open air interface right here. Can you can we do performance testing with the open air interface? Um, yeah, but I think it's it's meaningless because it's all emulated and performance is yeah actually not good. Even even yes, we can we can connect the the open air interface with the URSS in some hardware, um, but still even what kind of performance? We can test with one single USRP. Yeah, yes. So inside the, for the OMEC testing, we so far we use the uh, Spirit for function testing and before for performance. So the OMEC performance for a single like a, a group of VM with the certain resources, the CPU memory, we can achieve fifty thousand end device. Here <coughs> in the single box probably a little bit hard yeah. to achieve that. So should the spray are should be finished? Yeah. 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 Everybody finished? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah. You you have a Kubernetes cluster in your um, single 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 box now, um, and now oh you can run some Kubernetes commands like a kubectl get path and kubectl get Namespace kind of things, you'll, you'll see the Kubernetes is running well. And now you have to run um, ham ready. It will just uh, add uh, uh, incubator reports and uh, core, core ham reports. Oh, yeah, I'm just coming in the box. And after the comment, and if you check the ham reports, you have to see the see core report and integrator report is added. No. Um, if anyone does something is not working, just raise your hand. And now we are build um, Comac pl core platform and Comac platform. And Doyoung will explain. Okay, uh, in the previ uh, previous session, I already explained what is the code platform and what is the comment, uh, comment profile. So actually, this uh, uh, hand drawn is for comment in a box, not omeg in a box. So in this uh, uh, hand job, we need to also install the code platform first because it is a base platform for uh, home profile and actually it is also for the other technologies such as Siva part and also OME part. So we also already prepared the command to install code platform. So after you uh, added, successfully add your Helm repository, you can 
uh, insert this command line to its code platform on your cluster. And it, uh, after uh, insert this command line, you need some uh, few minutes to finish the, the code platform deployment. So if you check the now the hard information by using the Kubernetes command line, Kubernetes the uh, part get part. Then you can check that there is a code platform is running or try to deploy it in your cluster. So after you insert this command line, then code platform uh, tries to is code platform help chart try to install this component by default because uh, we don't have any option to disable these things. So first we uh, name XOS uh, is, will be installed in our cluster and also message broker Kafka and monitoring. And monitoring is consists of the Grafana uh, dashboard and Prometheus, uh, including exporters. And also KPI exporter is to collect the uh, metrics from the Porta side and also the Onos side. And also this code, uh, code platform uh, by default is the control owners because in the previous session we already tell you we are going to use control owners and we need to insert the fabric configuration into these owners. But in this comic in a box, we don't uh, consider the node connectivity in this side, so we don't use the fabric configuration in this part. So we can just check this default code platform component will be installed by using the code platform Helm chart. What do you mean? Yes. And after insert the code platform, the next step is the comment platform. So we now have a code platform, which is uh, uh, consists of XOS, monitoring parts, login part, and so on. So after your XOS deployed in your cluster, we can insert the comment profile into the uh, top on the code platform. So this command line is to install Comac uh, platform based on your code platform. Although we call this Comac platform, actually it is uh, it includes the Comac profile. So this Helm chart just insert the uh, Comac profiles and service graph in your XOS part. Creating from the previous command? Sure, sure. Like, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. And also, this command platform can take a few minutes to finish it because uh, it is a command platform Helm chart includes a job part to insert the command uh, profile into the XOS, and it needs some time. and. Also, it had it tried to several times to insert this format profile into the XOS. So sometimes the XOS cannot receive this format pro, uh, profile uh, correctly. So then this comic platform tries to uh, insert this uh, model information into the XOS several times. So if you have an error message or crash message while uh, this comic platform is deploying then don't worry, then it will, uh, after a few minutes, it will finish and it will show the complete or running status in your cluster. So in uh, after installing our Comet platform Helm chart, then we can check the service graph in our XOS GUI and also we can check this uh, additional services in the XOS uh, dashboard. So uh, maybe you can only check the information uh, whether your Comet platform and code platform installed well by using the Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes command line interface. So you can just check the result of the console interface. But after a few slides, a uh, few pages later, I will show you real GUI, how, uh, how to check this XOS GUI. So it shows whether our code platform installed well and our command platform also uh, installed based on the code platform. Now you run this command. This um, this is simply just a copy, 
copy the CNI, Kubernetes CNI we use to a CNI directory so that Kubernetes use these CNIs when they create a pod. The simple OVS CNI is, is to uh, connect the data plane of SK to SPGATU interface to the OVS bridges. And static, static IPM is to assign a static IP to those interfaces. We need those two, two CNIs, so we, you need to copy it. And after that, you see, make, oh, you, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it'll just copy the simple OVS yeah, binary to this directory, and it also, it downloads steady IPAM from um, GitHub and then copy it to the local. And then run this command, make fabric. When, when make fabric is finished, you will see, um, you will see obvious bridges are created. Um, you, can, you can check with this command, obvious visitor show, and there should be uh, two, two bridges, and then one interface on S, S1 unit that S, with the name of S1U E node B. And there should be another pod named router, and the router has um, that interface I will show you. Here I um, already installed everything, so if you see, yeah, you can see two bridges are created, and there's a there's a interface. You you don't see this interface, but this interface, but you see you have to see this interface, and if you You see that IP address is set here, and I mean, IP address should be a little different, but um, yes. And you can also check that Kubernetes PR EXAC router IP. Yeah, this is the 
IP address inside the router container, router path. So it has a one interface with Calico network and one interface to bound to the bound to the uh, this bridge. So next next step is um, creating uh, OMAC. Uh, build uh, deploy OMAC. So you just run OMAC OMAC target. You have, um, in your case, you have to put um, namespace OMAC. It's, it's a little different setup. After you run this command, just um, run this command. Qstay get pod and watch if um, pods are up and running. You can, you can see pods are up and running. So um, it'll take a little three to five minutes. It's because it has to download the images and everything. So um, let's look at how CIAP is cover, uh, Comeg in a box is implemented. We will actually go into So um, if you if you list files here, you can see make file and comeg in a box values YAML and resources directory. Make file is yeah, this is the old automation scripts are in. So when you just run make, the the default target is installing everything. It's just system check and install OMAC and then install open air interface emulators and comic platforms. It installs everything. What we are doing is just to run every one some of the targets step by step. So when we run this command from, well, at first, we just run Ansible playbook for um, cube spray. And the values here is should be uh, much, much should be almost the same thing that Soyoung explained before. So the important settings are use the enable multus and enable SCP support. Yeah, these these values are all, all almost the same. And then copies Kubus, uh, Kubernetes config in the home directory so that you don't have to put test all the time. And when you ham ready, it just adds the repo, incubator repo and comment port repo. And when you run this comment platform and core platform, it actually run ham up ham install comment. We saw before in the video. And this CNI command just copies the CNIs we use to the CNI directory that Kubernetes Kubernetes knows. And when we run fabric, it actually creates a virtual switch, virtual bridges, and creates an interface for um, inode B can inode B side interface, and create a router 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 pod, and I assign assign static route inside the inside the router pod, and then we. We run the OMAC target. It actually install install OMAC control plane and data plane with this ham ham install command. It's the all, almost the, everything is the same, but it's just automated. Now we are going to run OAI sim. 
but um, yeah, this this will uh, also in, we we wrote the open air interface hem chart to integrate OMAC. So it just uh, is is the same. It just run the hem install comment. And when we say when you when we run uh, ham uh, make test, it just uh, then it tries to send the ping from UE to uh, SGI gateway interface. Oh, you have to just uh, uh, just check um, kubectl get pod minus minus and omac and see every pods are running state. And here's another file that Comeg in a box values YAML. It is a YAML file that I explained before when we uh, installed Comeg, uh, OMEG in the, in, in the previous session. It is also an override value for Comeg in a box. So we just, it's a, just one node, so we set Cassandra cluster size one and and we disabled SRV, and because we disabled SRV, we have to pass this these extra parameters to uh, SPKKU so that we are using we are not using SRV interfaces and these MME and user team info and yes, yeah, this this kind of value, this value. Actually, these values are for OMAC side, and these values in the bottom is used in the open air interface side. So you, this value has to be matched. So it's, um, now we have to run, uh, run, run, Open OA sim command, but I think it will take um, too long. So I will just I will just shortcut use shortcut. So um, it actually download image. Uh, it actually download base images and build UE images because Open Air interface UE image includes some corner modules and. It, the kernel header version has to be matched, so we could not provide pre-built images for UE. So you have, we have to build whenever you run in your machines, because we don't know which kernel version your machines are. So, um, but um, this takes a little long, a little long. So let's um, just use the image we, we already built. So you have to run this command instead. Oh, you don't have to do this. And it's uh, It's just uh, load the previous image to your Docker, and last command is um, is to make that all we saying that we we UE image build target is done, so that it does not run run again. So once it's done, you should be able to check. You have to be able to see two two images: LTE software soft modem, LTE UE soft modem. After this, you run this command. 
it'll immediately create um, open air interface, UE and inode B pod. We should be able to check that from with this command. When UE, when UE is up, it immediately sends the attached request to the network. So after UE is up, you will see the U waiting for UE to attach to the network. And then finally, UE, it will stop when UE gets an IP address. Almost finished. <laughs> oh, you are you seeing this? Oh, you, uh, uh, it should be fine, but it, the OAI sim command uh, target itself takes too long, so we, oh, you just, uh -huh. uh, oh, then you have to, you just um, stop the OAI sim command. Yeah, yeah, just, just stop. And then touch. UE that image. Oh. It is not a, it, yeah, we, we cannot complete with the task. And run way, way, then again. So um, everybody has to be able to see open air interface containers in your OMAG namespace. No? <laughs> You can check the open o IP ADDR show. IP, IP ADDR, ADDR show. show. OIP, yeah, OIP1. Yeah, you can see the OIP1 has ID. Yes, this UE gets, yeah, you see everything. 
So um, after UE, UE is attached to the network, you just, the last part is just uh, run make test to data, test the data plane. When UE gets an IP address, that means the control plane works. Now you can test data plane with this command. Actually, we did this step by step, but but if you download that that um, script, you you can just type make. Then it'll everything is done automatically. You don't have to put this target step by step. Just run make, and it'll it'll up um, in in 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, you can keep that machines um, more. Um, two or three hours more, so you can um, check the results um, later. And if you have any questions, um, you can ask me or my colleagues as well. Oh, OK. But if I were to use a stop and run through on my own server, what do I need to have to be installed for doing this? Nothing. Just um, make. Maybe you have to install make. Okay. Some distribution does not. Right. Yeah, so make. Just, just, just this. Okay. Git or git and make. Wow. That's it. And if if any if anyone success with OAICM, you can just test data plan to make test comment. Well, for the last one, uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, anything you can ask me. And uh, we all, not only have the people technical team here uh, in the like uh, the OMEC and the COMEC community is more than fifty people and from more than ten different companies and including service providers. So if you have anything you want to discuss or need me to direct you to some of our collaborators. And you just connect me. I will help you. Everybody finished? This tutorial? Okay, this is all for this morning session. And uh, we can go to lunch. <laughs> Thank you for attending. <laughs>